There's been a lot of political fallout today from John, Senator John Fetterman's decision to receive inpatient treatment for clinical depression. As political editor John Delano reports, the political implications tend to come through a partisan lens. There were no updates on Friday on Senator Fetterman's treatment for clinical depression at Walter Reed Military Medical Center in Washington. The senator admitted himself there on Wednesday night for what his staff said was severe depression, a common occurrence following a stroke. Allegheny County Councilman and Republican Chair Sam DeMarco, who supported Bemidt Oz last fall, suggested Fetterman should have dropped out of the Senate race last year. Quote, we'll be praying for his recovery. However, this highlights once again the exploitation of a man who really needed to focus on his recovery from a major stroke. John Fetterman needs good long-term care and a goodly amount of recuperation, not the pressures of a Senate seat, unquote. Unfortunately, there are people in the political world who will try and make a political issue of this. Democratic strategist Mike Mickus says Fetterman was braver than most politicians to go public with his mental health challenges and says that will help, not hurt, Fetterman in the long run. There's much more acceptance to somebody dealing with mental health than in the past. You know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, this may have ended his career, but, but I, I really don't think that's the case uh, now. But Republican strategist Mike Devaney says the Senate job is very stressful, and he wonders whether Fetterman is up for it. It's a stressful job. It's stressful when you have votes. It's stressful when you're, you're making decisions. It's stressful when you're dealing with your colleagues. It is a 24-7 job, uh, and it's a difficult job. And I think that he and his family and, and the, the rest of his colleagues in the Senate over the course of the next few months hopefully will be able to navigate a pathway forward that both allows him to heal but also allows him to be able to effectively serve. While nobody thinks Fetterman will step down, having just gotten elected to a six-year term, if he does so, Governor Shapiro appoints a replacement with a special election to be held at the next general election. Fetterman's office tells me they've been overwhelmed with phone calls wishing the senator well. And with only two people at their front desk, many calls go unanswered. So FYI, you may have to call more than a few times to get through. John Delano, KDKA News.